So we made it to Paris. We are in our Airbnb right now. It is just this teeny tiny little apartment, but it's like perfect. It's all we need. We're really even gonna be in here anyway. Um, but we flew all through the night. We got in super early this morning, which was really like 2 a.m. our time, but like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. here. Um, so we have just been, we got in our apartment. We took a little bit of a nap, um, but not a crazy nap. And we are now gonna head out. We're gonna get some lunch, hopefully. We have like no plans today um, until later. We're basically just gonna be like wandering around, exploring, eating <laughs> and then later on we're doing like a champagne tasting um like on a boat on the river so really excited <laughs> Taking it all in, we are walking around the city. Um, so this is obviously our first day here. We're still like, the time is all off right now. It's like three o'clock, but that's it's way earlier at home. So we have no plan. Our plan was to have no plan for majority of this day, so we could just kind of wander um, and explore, which is what we've been doing, and it's been going great. We got some food, um, and we wanted to come here to check out this view. We are actually we want to come back here early, maybe tomorrow morning, to get some pictures without like a ton of people here. I heard that's what you gotta do. So we're probably gonna do that tomorrow. Uh, but right now we're just exploring. We're gonna go um, hopefully sit at, at, maybe outside at a cafe, have a glass of wine. Just, yeah, do the whole Paris thing. Just relax, take it easy. And then later on tonight we do actually have um, one like little tour scheduled. It's a champagne tasting on um, like a boat that's gonna go down. I think I said that earlier on the vlog, yeah. So. So exciting, I, can you tell I'm a little tired? But yeah, so we've got just kind of a chill afternoon, but I mean, I just can't, this view is just insane. Day two, which you can't see because I have it. <laughs> Day two of our Paris trip. So it is bright and early right now. You see Eiffel Tower in the background. So we're walking up um, to Trocadero, or maybe we're, this is like the gardens of Trocadero, what we're walking through right now. But we're walking up there to get some really awesome pictures with the Eiffel Tower in the background. This is one of like the iconic spots. And we came bright and early for two reasons. One, so there's hardly anyone here, so you can get like unspoiled views of the Eiffel Tower, because we were here yesterday, and during the day, I mean, it's like swamped with people. But then also we'll kind of be able to catch the sunrise with the Eiffel Tower in the background. Yeah, it's just like crazy that we're actually here. It's so beautiful, so we will get some pictures. Headed 
to Myanmar, which is where we're doing our food tour this morning. Which we're pretty excited about. Um, so we're basically it's just like a walking tour, and we're gonna be trying all different kinds of food. I think there's gonna be wine too. Um, which is 10:30, right? Or it starts at 10:30, which is a little early for wine. But. All we've had is croissants, so we're starving. Yeah, and a cappuccino, and he had an espresso. In a little cafe, it's the cutest. But yeah, we're super pumped for the food tour. Okay, so we just finished our food tour um, a few minutes ago. It was really good. Uh, we went, it was kind of like a walking tour of yeah. Myanmar. Best but thing also, we got. Go ahead. Best thing we got. Think about a munchkin from Dunkin' Donuts. It wasn't that, but it looked like it. It was like fresh, freshly baked, and they squeezed the cream into it yeah. as they gave it to you. So, it's so, so fresh. Good. It's kind of like a cream puff but there was a different name for it. Um, it wasn't like profitol or whatever. Anyway, they were delicious. And so we basically tried like a bunch of different things. We tried that, we tried a real Madeline. Um, we had some kind of like cheese bread that I don't remember the name of. Um, we did some cured meats, cheeses, some wine. Really, really good. Also coffee, um, but we're pretty hungry. It was like just like little, we came hungry thinking we were gonna eat a ton and it was just like little bites of things. So we're sitting down for like a late-ish, actually it's not late at all, lunch right now. Um, and we are in uh, Place du Teltre having an Irish coffee, which my aunt actually recommended we come to this little place to get one because she said it was like the best one she's ever had. We are, they actually just got here, I'll show you guys. And we're just having a sandwich, something easy. But we are like facing the square, like looking out. And it's just like quintessential Paris right now. And we're just kind of taking it in.
Hey guys, so we just left our apartment. Um, we are headed out to dinner, so we spent most of the day in Munmar, um, and it was awesome. I feel like that's definitely gonna be the highlight of our trip, what do you think? It was awesome, a lot of fun. Yeah, we really great liked foods. it. Great foods. Great food, it's like so adorable and so quaint. Um, we sat at a cafe, it was just like really, really nice. So, um, anyway, so we're headed to dinner right now. We went back to our apartment just to like rest and recoup for like an hour. And now we're headed back out. Um, the place we're going to, now I can't remember the name, um, but I'll obviously show you. It's like a, it's gonna be like kind of a cool experience because it's like just, all they serve is steak frites, which is like steak and french fries um, and salad. So apparently, you literally, when you sit down, you just like order wine and you tell them how you want your steak cooked and that's it. And apparently, like there's, it's just first come first serve. Um, and it's just gonna be a kind of a different dining experience, but the reviews are pretty good and I've just, people recommended it to me on Instagram, so we're really excited to go try it. Um, but we need to get a move on because apparently there's always a line. So, I'll show you guys. flat and it's kind of rainy so we think we're just gonna like duck into a cafe have like a croissant and some coffee we were planning on just like grabbing a croissant or something and eating on the go just got a little wet but since it's kind of rainy and cold we're just gonna go inside um, and just chill for a little but our plan today is we're just gonna do like a big loop and like check a bunch of things off our list so we're gonna right now we're right by Trocadero which is where our flat is super close to and then we're gonna head down to Arc de Triomphe, walk down Champs de Lys, uh, or Lise. My French is not good, you guys. Um, I wanna stop at Le Dre, I don't know how you say it, which is the macaron place. Um, like the gardens down there, and then just do like the Alexander the Third Bridge. Yeah, so big plans today, but right now we're just gonna duck into a cafe to get a little something to eat and get out of the rain, and then we'll take a picture. big loop, checked a bunch of things off our list that we wanted to see. Um, and now it's like 2.30, so now we're just gonna head to, um, thank you, head to a cafe and do our favorite thing. Eat, to do an, eat. Oh yeah, eat. But to do a comparison, which is just sit outside, 
um, a cafe, have a glass of wine, and just like keep a watch, take it all in. It's like so relaxing. So that's what we're headed to do. This is our last day here, so. It is. We're just kind of slowing down and just want to take it all in and relax. We're back in our flat now. Um, we came back after the cafe. We walked, um, strolled past the Eiffel Tower again and just like took it all in. And then we came back here um, just for not long at all, um, basically so I could pump. And then now we're gonna head out to dinner. Um, we are grabbing an Uber, um, cause it's like a 20 minute ride. This place was recommended highly to us. It's called Bistrot de Henry. Um, and apparently it's really good, just like classic French food which we really just, we're trying to eat all the French food basically while we're here. So we're gonna go there um, and that's pretty much our only plan for tonight. This is our last night here. We are up and out super early to catch our flight home tomorrow. So we're probably just gonna go to dinner um, and that's gonna be the end of it. Um, but anyway, we will take you guys along. You watching my story? Yeah. <laughs> we'll take you guys along to dinner and show you what we end up getting. Okay guys, so we just got back to our flat. We had dinner. It was so good. Like that was phenomenal. It was just this little, like tiny family run. Yeah, hole in the wall. Hole in the wall, definitely a hole in the wall, but like a nice hole in the wall. Um, and it was really, really good. I had fish, I got sea bass, and you got lamb chops. Lamb. Yeah. And potatoes, delicious. Yeah, it was like potatoes out gratin, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. So, it was so good. Creme brulee. Oh yeah, we also got creme brulee. Would highly, <laughs> highly recommend that place. I'm actually gonna do an entire post on my vlog with all of the places that we went that I would highly recommend, like literally all the details. On your vlog or vlog? Blog with sorry, a B. Sound like you said a vlog. Sorry, on my blog. So there will be a full blog post, blog with a B on all the things we did here. So if you want like more details or any of the plate, like addresses of the places that we went, I'm gonna put that all together. Um, and I'm planning on having that ready when this video goes up. So it should just be down in the description box. Um, my blog is, blog is just beccabristo.com. So I'm gonna put all of the details there and kind of share the whole trip in depth with you guys. Um, in written form so i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this like i said we are headed out tomorrow morning we have an early morning flight so we're up and out of here super early but we are so excited to get home Can't to wait. see hayden see our little girl oh my god we miss her so much my mom and sister have been sending us pictures and we got to facetime with her yesterday and we are we are missing her so much it was so nice to get away though like we had like the best time i'm so glad that we did this um, but anyway, so that is pretty much it for this Paris travel vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and following along with us. Um, make sure if you have a trip to Paris coming up or maybe one day in the future you're going to go to Paris, make sure to check out that post on my blog if you want all of the details of what we did. I have some really good food recommendations specifically because hello, I travel for the food pretty much. So make sure to check that out. Um, but again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching this um, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye.